Hello, everybody, and welcome to Drew in the Moment. We're back at Epcot for Flower and Garden. We don't get here as often as we really should. There's a bunch of food here that we haven't eaten, and that's actually one thing we're going to do today. We're going to try out some of the food over at the Honey Bistro, I think is, is the name of it, or Bistro something. A bunch of things that have honey involved. I love honey. We're going to get on my favorite ride, show some merch, just have a good day at Epcot. So thank you for checking out the video if you're new to our channel. We hope you enjoy and hope you consider subscribing to the channel. But let's go get something to eat because I am starving like Marvin. So let's do it or drew it, whatever you want to do. The flowers are really in full bloom. They smell amazing. I love it. Hey, I know you. Look, a flower next to the flowers. I know they still they smell. Hey, Hi, did you want to get something to eat with me today? What are we eating though? We're gonna eat over at the Honey Bistro. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do it. it. But no, but I was I was just telling them like how the flowers are like in full bloom, like they're they're starting to really take shape, especially over here. You know the 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 mounds of flowers they have grown up quite a bit. They've grown up, you know, they've matured and uh, and kind of becoming adults. I'm proud of them. We've made it to the Honey Bistro. Oh, I am so hungry and I'm so excited because uh, the, the past few years we've come to this booth and it's never disappointed. It honestly is never disappointed. So I cannot wait to see what they got going on this year. I can't wait. We're gonna get one of everything. And we're gonna get a beverage too. So we have our delicious food. What we have right here is called the pollinator flatbread. It's got honey caramelized onions, blueberries, prosciutto, honey whipped goat cheese, arugula, honey vinaigrette, and bee pollen, actually bee pollen on it. I see it. I see it too. Look at that, the little bee pollen. Then we have chicken and waffles. Oh man. It's uh, chicken on a honey sweet cornbread with honey, butter, and spicy honey. So if you don't like spice, this might not be for you. Then we have the honey mascarpone cheesecake. Oh, this looks good. With whipped honey, crystallized uh, honey, honeycomb, dehydrated honey, lots of honey. And to drink, we had to get a bevy. So we got this, I've never had it, a honey peach cobbler freeze with streusel let's just get into this i need to taste everything it looks gorgeous and all of this together 22 dollars. that is not a bad deal at all all right i am so ready probably should take the straw out of my hat that's for the drink uh but i i really want to get into this flatbread this flatbread looks awesome that prosciutto. there's prosciutto on it do you um, do you want to try the piece with the uh, the bee pollen on it? Yes. Look at this, guys. You can see it. It's got the little pieces of bee pollen. I want you to have that one. I'll grab the other one. Got to make sure. We, I got to make sure I get, get a, blueberry. a blueberry on there. Look at this thing. All right. Cheers. Boop. Wow. Oh wow. There's a lot going on there. Caramelized onions, prosciutto, the pollen is mm. interesting. Oh, this is so good. Do you know what's interesting though? The one thing, I, I'm going to be completely honest, I like it. But the one thing that actually throws it off is the um, goat cheese. I, I don't, I, I don't, do like goat and I like goat yeah. cheese. I just don't, I don't know if I care for it in this, with everything mm -hmm. else going on. But the everything is delicious. But it is tasty. I won't. Yeah, it is tasty. I think I would have actually just taken that, taken the goat cheese off. Yeah. Well, that's you just get me. I don't think I would. No. You? Yes, I will get it again. I just want to be honest with you guys. Yeah, it's not bad or anything. I just all the flavors together don't quite match, and I think it's because of the goat cheese. All right, now we are on to the chicken and waffles, mm. and it's a the waffle is a cornbread waffle. Okay, waffle. So I got to give this little guy a shot. Here we go. 
Oh yeah. Mm. Ready? Mmm. Huge fan. That bird just dive bombed us. Uh, this one I would definitely get. But again. you don't like it spicy. Yeah, if you don't like okay. spicy, it, it, it yeah, right spicy. as soon as I took a bite, I felt the spice hit my tongue. Oh, but this this one for me, absolutely. You will get again. Absolutely yes. every single time. It's sweet, it's spicy. I'm down with that. You would you get it again? Yes. Okay. Would you, would, would you get this over the flatbread? Yeah. This one over the flatbread, guys. Now on to, we're just going for it. Now on to the mascarpone cheesecake. Yeah, look at that thing. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. It's a little and, bit of Yeah, well, they have a little bit of the honeycomb, which I gotta, I need to share with you. It's hard no, it's to. okay. It's a piece there for me. Okay, there we go. I got it. Uh, get some of the whipped honey butter. Oh, I got it all. I got it all. This thing. I, I find it hard to believe this won't be good. No, it's no way. Now eat one of these. Oh my goodness. That is fantastic. This is one of the best desserts I've ever had in my so life. I'm not get kidding. A little of everything. Yes, I am not kidding. That is smooth, creamy. If you're not blown away, I'm going to be blown away that you're not blown oh, away. So good. No, seriously, I'm not kidding. This is probably one of the best desserts I've ever had. The flavor mm -hmm. is so off the hook, man. Mm. That one. This one gets like a 50 out of a, you know, best out of 10. This one's a 50. Off the hook, good. Off the hook, good. And, and this is the uh, peach cobbler freeze. Is the drink that peach. we got peach? I want you to. Peaches, I want you to peaches, try it. Peaches, I've been peaches, trying everything peaches. first. Peaches, 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 peaches. <laughs> we gotta watch out for a copyright on that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Does it go hard, as it our goes. kids say? Let's Super see if this thing. Cheers, prosalute, salute, yeah. slancha to everybody. Surprise! You don't like it. Oh my! Right? You know what it is? Peaches and cream. This is peaches and cream. Is what it is. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, that is fantastic. And you know. So we got, you know, four items off the menu. I, I believe we got all of the um, food to eat. There's some alcoholic beverages that you can get as well, which we did. We got this non-alcoholic. Out of the four items, I would come back for three. That's pretty yeah, good. That's good. That's pretty good. good. Yeah. No, guys, don't miss out on the on the Honey Bistro. Make sure you make your way over here, at least to try one of these items, you know. So that festival goes until July 5th, if I know July 5th? July 5th, yeah, if I know wrong. It feels like they're like half year festivals now, you know. Yeah, but more time for us to. No, I know because yeah, yeah, yeah. We, this would have already been gone because yeah. we take it takes forever. I don't know why it takes us so long to get back to the festivals. But Honey Bistro, it is a must. Put it on your list before the festival is over. So to say that that meal was good, I feel like is an understatement, don't you? Yes, it was. <sighs> the chicken and the the cornbread waffle. That's what Queen loved, was the cornbread waffle. I did too, I was like, man, that just made it that much more perfect. Yeah, that was very unique. You know, you usually get like chicken waffles. Yes, regular, and regular waffles. That would have like a little extra something. A little, you know? a, little, a little Disney magic, you know? And speaking of Disney magic, so Harmonious is no longer around. We don't get to see those fireworks anymore. But I will show you guys that they got rid of all of the things, all the big barges and everything in the lake here. So let's uh, show you guys that now because it looks a little bit different. And here it is guys. No more Stargate. No more big barges. Ah, memories of a wonderful show. I'm actually a little sad about it. You're a little sad yes. about it? I honestly, I am too. It's one of those things like Splash Mountain and, and other things that go away. <laughs> Unfortunately, it hurts initially, but then eventually, you 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 get over it and you, and you move on, you know, to the new shows, whether it's Epcot, Forever, or you know Tiana's new ride that they're gonna have. So, 
It is what it so is. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, I guess we gotta let it go. We gotta let it go. We figured we'd walk all the way over here just to make this joke. <laughs> Beautiful topiaries. So after we have let it all go, we decided let's go do a little meet and greet. It's only 20 minutes to meet Anna and Elsa. Hey, how are you? Are you excited, Queen? I am very excited. This was so, like, we weren't even planning that. And then we were walking, and then, and Queen was like, it's only 20 minutes. And I'm like, let's do it. Yeah, because let's do just it. Let it go, so. Let's just let it go. And then I'll get all nervous when I'm meeting the characters, you know? And, but here we go. I love it. You got Anna right there and Elsa right across the way. Just amazing details. I love this area. I want to go up the stairs. I want to see what's up there. And look at that. Little Anna and Elsa painting. <laughs> Super cute. Hello, Elsa. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm good. We're doing great. I just want to know, how, how is your summer going? Oh, it's great. Yeah? Do you Olaf is enjoying it more than I am. Yeah. Are you, are you a little sad we don't have snow right now? <laughs> but of course, maybe we can join Olaf at the beach. Yes. I know. I, he must look really good. You know, all, all tanned up. He likes to roll in the sand to get a nice even layer. That's a good idea. I'm going to have to try that next time. Although he might have a little snow so if you see him, make sure he's reapplying his snow screen. Yeah, the snow screen. That's right. Always burns his snow Hello. How are you? Wow, this is a gorgeous summer home. Thank you so much. Elsa and I used to visit here during the summertime with our family growing up. So That's fantastic. We have lots of special memories here. Are you enjoying your summer or spring slash summer so far? Yeah? Of course, the cold bothers me a little bit more than it does my sister. So I know, I it bothers me. <laughs> it bothers me as well. I don't like snow. Hot but I didn't tell her. I highly recommend. Hot chocolate, that's a good I idea. I might be a little healthier tonight, Olaf, though. It did kind of go through the back of his head last night. <laughs> But he enjoyed it though, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. He does have his permafrost now, though. <laughs> Looking very elegant. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Look at this. They have a cool photo op right here. I'm going to have to investigate, see if I can get a picture, because that's awesome. So Drew is going to be getting a magic job. What a shoe with Drew. Drew. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you there. Drew. Yes, you too. You. I, you did amazing. It was my photo shoot. Didn't even cost me anything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was an amazing photo shoot, wasn't it? Yeah. I was working it, man. I was working it. No, but it, it was awesome seeing the characters. We haven't seen uh, Anna and Elsa for, I don't know, maybe five months or something. Yeah. Uh, we reopened. I think when they reopened. Oh, yeah, when they, they reopened. reopened. That's what I think it was. And uh, it's always nice to go back and see some characters. I love the interaction with, interactions with the characters. So that was super fun. But now, right now, we're gonna head to my favorite ride here at Epcot, which is, what is it? Living with the land. Living with the land. It is my favorite. My favorite is Guardians. Hers is Guardians. My Let us know in the comments what's your favorite. Yeah, what's your favorite? I, I, like, I like it slow and steady, kind of a chill vibe. She likes it fast and furious. Not like the movie, but now you, you, you like a little more intense. You're a little more wild than me. So, so let's go check out Living with the Land. And I can't wait to see how this stuff has grown. I'm hoping to see some pineapples, some bananas. So, all right. Cucumbers. Some cucumbers, but make sure you don't jump off the boat and get cucumbers. Or any of the fruit, really. Just enjoy the ride, man. All right, let's go do this. Or Drew it. 
Let's do it. Let's do it. The greatest thing ever, living with the land. And it's only a five minute wait. Mwah. Walk on. Here comes the Willy Wonka boat. <laughs> I am so excited. It's been a little while since I've been on this ride. My favorite ride. I cannot wait. Oh yeah. Once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. <laughs> Pineapples are not growing yet. We're gonna have to keep coming back for the pineapples. Where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are Oh wow, that's huge! And it, an edible flower garden. But you're right. Look at those papayas. It is a basketball. Wow. Many of these, like papaya. Bananas, cacao, I like to say papaya. Oh, let's say cacao. 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 These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of 10 right here. people living in the tropics. I love Many this area. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water, no way. Oh, yeah, they're doing the behind the seeds tour. Even the flower Highly recommend that. It's, it's so much fun. And look, we got Mickey. One day, many of these lesser. Well, they don't have pineapples, but they definitely have bananas. Now, I'm kind of hungry for a banana. Never knowing which way we're rowing, rowing. Na 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 na. Showing, showing. Is it raining? Is it pouring? If you didn't figure it out, this is the Willy Wonka part. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Ooh, yeah, I think we get we get hybrid bass coming up. Look how many fish are in there. Wow. My question is, how can you put a seat that looks super comfortable there and not expect people to want to go sit in it? You know? Such a cool little area. Looks like some tangerines or oranges behind it. Account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research. Some flowers. That's cool. They made... Uh, Little flowers that are painted rocks. Now, in this area, you gotta control yourself. This is the cucumber area. <laughs> no, don't jump. But I, I love how they like hang the 
the vegetable. You know what I mean? Using our nutrient film system. Such a smart way to let gravity do its thing. And recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads. And you got a hidden Mickey right over here in the lettuce. Look how perfect they are. They really are. The future of agriculture That's may awesome. include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. So cool. System. Such a fun ride. I, 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 I always smile. And she remembers the first time that I went on that ride yeah, in 2007, the first time to, to Disney. And my jaw was just dropped. I was like, oh my goodness, look at that, look at that. You know, what would you say? I was like I was like a little boy. Oh yeah, you are like, oh look at the place. Because I'm a super oh, proud I wanna guy. Do, I want to do the tour. I want to do the behind the scenes tour. And I just want to let you guys know I found out a price for it. It used to be $20, but I know that was 2007 and times change. Uh, it is $35 now. But if you are an annual pass holder, you do get a 10% discount on that. So I don't know what, whatever that figures out. But you save a little bit of money. But it is really fun if you're a plant person. You like that sort of stuff like me, I, I would pay 35 bucks to go do it again. I already did it once, um, but it's super fun. It's super fun. Trust me, trust me. Let's go to the creation shop and see if we can find anything new. Look at this new shoulder house. They're so cute. They have a Boo and Sebastian. The ones are new. Oh, look at this. And they have all this. Starbucks mini espresso mug. There's a Mandalorian right here. Oh, I like all these Star Wars merch. Everybody, that is gonna do it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed. Did you enjoy yourself enjoy. today? Food was delicious. Yes, it was. The meeting green. That meeting green. Shopping. Yeah. And Drew's favorite ride. Favorite ride, right here. Love it. No, but it was it was such a great time. Thank you guys for for tagging along. We we really do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, we hope you join us for more adventures and uh, hit that subscribe button. But guys, thank you again, and until we see you next time, remember, there's only one way to live. It's in the moment. We're living with the land. Bye, bye.